Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today's video is the result of a viewer comment that I received where he said I should look at the Phillies bullpen. And so that got me thinking, maybe I'll take a look at the best bullpen and the worst bullpen in the major leagues from 2020. So, as you may or may not know, the worst bullpen probably in the history of man and definitely of 2020 was the Philadelphia Phillies bullpen of last year. And the best bullpen, or at least one of the best, I mean, I guess it depends on how you measure the best bullpen, um, was probably the Tampa Bay Rays bullpen. And so now, today, we're going to take a look at those and be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video where I got a little bit of a bonus look at something related to this, to the, we're actually the worst bullpen. Um, and I also want to remind people before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Give me a like. Uh, if you like the video at the end, leave a comment below. Always love to hear comments from people who watch my videos, but let's get into it. First, let's look at the best bullpen from last year. Now, obviously, this is a bullpen look, so there's not going to be too many, if any, starter relievers. There may be one or two. I think there's one or two in the stack uh, of guys that really didn't start a lot, so they were probably in the bullpen more, but we're not looking at any starters here. So with Tampa Bay, and there's a couple, there's like two or three guys at Tampa Bay that really weren't, that were also very bad, just like. I mean, they would have been perfect for the Phillies bullpen. And uh, the first of those is Anthony Banda. And there's his card. Now, he had a 10.29 earned run average last year. He was 1-0 with a 10.29. And there's the front of the card for Mr. Banda. Moving right along, we have Cody Reed, who had a 450 earned run average, so he gave up a run every other inning. Also not very good. And there's his card. Now we want to mention that for uh, Banda, he only pitched 7 innings, and for Cody Reed, he only pitched 12. The next guy, Jose Alvarado, also was not very good, had a six earned run average, and only pitched nine innings. And there's his card, Jose Alvarado. And of course, you know, as I'm going through these, if you want to take a longer look at them, you can just freeze the video when I put the cards up. It's not like I'm going to whip them down real quick. But now we get into some of the better pitchers, or really the good pitchers, in the Tampa Bay bullpen that made them a good bullpen. The first is John Curtis. He was 3-0 and with a 180 earned run average in 25 innings of work. And that's his card right there. In uh, 25 innings, he gave up 21 hits. The next one is Aaron Loop. And he also pitched 25 innings and had a 252 earned run average. And I'm trying, trying to like make sure my finger doesn't get in the way here so that you can get a good look at these cards. So there's his card. The next one is Chaz Rowe. He was 2-0 and with a 289 earned run average. He only pitched nine innings, though. So he didn't do a lot of uh, work for the uh, Tampa Bay Rays out of the bullpen, but still... He was good for what time he pitched. So that's his card. He gave up 10 hits in 9 innings, but only walked 3 guys. 
Now the next one is a real good guy. Pitched uh, 10 innings, allowed only 6 hits and no earned runs. He had a 0 ERA and that's Ryan Sheriff. And there's his card. Really good. There's the uh, front of the card. Love to play with cards like that when you have a bullpen. When you have to put a bullpen together. The next is Andrew Kittredge. He had a 225 earned run average. He only pitched uh, he only pitched eight innings though and gave up eight hits. And of course, if you're familiar with Stratomatic, you know that sometimes the ERA doesn't seem to match, you know, because of the peripherals. Like a guy could pitch eight innings, give up ten hits, and somehow he had a good ERA, but the card still won't be that good for Strat. The next one is Jalen Beeks. He was 1-1 one one with a 326 earned run average in 19 innings, and he's a perfect example. He gave up 21 hits in 19 innings and, uh, and walked four guys. But had a 326 earned run average, which is pretty good. I mean, you know, you would probably like to see relievers down under three. But he's certainly no slouch. And there's the front of the card for him. So the next one is Oliver Drake. Oliver now Oliver Drake was also another one who wasn't very good. He had a 573 earned run average, pitched 11 innings and gave up 7 hits. So there's Oliver Drake's card. Next one is Peter Fairbanks. He was 6 and 3. With a 270 earned run average and in 27 innings gave up only 23 hits. There's the front of his card. And there is the advanced side of the card. So you can see the Tampa Bay staff was, it had their share of very good uh, players. Next is Aaron Sleggers. I guess that's how you pronounce that. He had a 346 earned run average, 26 innings, 18 hits allowed. And that's what his card looks like. Hopefully these come out and they're not getting, you know, um, blurry or whatever because I'm putting them up to the screen. Next is Ryan Thompson. He was 1 and 2 with a 444. So he was, you know, borderline not that great. 25 innings, 29 hits. But I guess even the best bullpen in baseball is going to have its share of issues with guys that aren't always that great. Next is Diego Castillo. He had a 168 earned run average. And in 22 innings, this guy gave up 12 hits. But he walked 11. So there's the front of the card just to give you an idea before you look at the back. And then... There's the back of the card. And again, as Strat is wont to do with their cards, the guy did give up 12 hits in 22 innings, but he walked so many guys that they make the card really almost all just walks. Uh, and then for the last guy that we're going to look at for Tampa Bay, of course, is their closer, and that is... Nick Anderson, who was 2-1 and one with an 0.55 ERA, 0 0.55 ERA, 16 innings hits, hit, or innings pitched, and only 5 hits allowed. There's the front of the card, and that is the back of the card. Excellent card. So you can see the Tampa Bay bullpen as you will see in a minute, is the exact opposite of the Philadelphia bullpen. Manny, bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! So now let's go through exactly the um, Philadelphia bullpen. 
Now the first guy we're going to look at is Blake Parker, and he actually was pretty good. He was a good reliever for the Phillies. They didn't have many. Maybe he's the only one. But he was 3 0 with a 281 earned run average, and in 16 innings pitched, he only gave up 12 hits. That's the front of his card. And there's the back of it. The next one is Jojo Romero. This guy had a 759 earned run average. Let's not pretend that that's, like, the worst you're going to see. Here and there, no matter how cruelly I beg you, do not open this door. But he had a 759 earned run average. He was 0-0, zero and zero, 759, 11 innings pitched, 13 hits. And that's his card. Not very good. And he might have been one of your better choices. The next one we have is David Phelps. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. <laughs> You're a Simon should you decide to accept it. He had a 653 earned run average. He was two and four, and in 21 innings pitched, he gave up 19 hits. He also gave up seven home runs in 21 innings. So the man gave up a home run every three innings that he pitched. Probably not something you want on your resume, and normally you wouldn't make a major league pitching staff doing that, but he had a lot of guys that he was in competition with. The next one is Adam Morgan. He was 0-1 with a 554 earned run average and 13 hits in or 14 hits allowed in 13 innings pitched. And there is Adam Morgan's card. The next one we got is Ramon Rosso. Now, he was a starter reliever, but he only pitched 10 innings, gave up 9 hits, struck out 11, and only gave up one home run. But he had a, uh, did I say what he had? He had a 652 earned run average. So I'm not really sure those the actually those statistics are not so bad that they should have led to a 652 earned run average. I'm not sure really what happened with this guy. Um then you've got uh let's see, David Hale. And David Hale had 17 innings pitched, 23 hits, a 371 earned run average. But this is his overall card. This is his, like, you know, pitching for the Phillies and whoever else he pitched for. And that kind of alludes to what my bonus material at the end is that you want to hang around for. The next one is Diolis Guerra. And Diolis Guerra... Well, that guy had an 8.59 earned run average in seven innings pitched and gave up 10 hits. You suck! And that's his card. He also gave up three home runs. Three, let me say that again, three home runs in seven innings. Okay, so there you go. The next one is Connor Brogdon, and Connor Brogdon had a 397 earned run average. He was actually somewhat decent. I mean, he wasn't good, but he was he was somewhat decent. 11 actually 11 innings pitched, 5 hits allowed, and he struck out 17. So yeah, this guy is actually him and the first guy that we looked at probably should be your go-to guys if you are in a league where you're the Phillies and you have to have the Phillies team. Really, I would recommend just not bringing relief in if you can get away with that. The next one is Hector Neris, and he was 2-2 two and two with a 457 earned run average. 
And uh, 22 innings pitched and 24 hits allowed. And that's Hector Neris. Now the next one is a starter reliever. I said there would be a couple of those. We already saw one, I think. And the next one is Vince Velazquez. Now he was mainly a starter, but he pitched 34 innings allowed, 36 hits. Uh, and this would be his card. He had a 556 earned run average. Now, if you were in said league where you are the Phillies and you are managing the Phillies, Velazquez might well be a starting pitcher for you instead of a reliever. And so now we get to the last two gems in the Phillies bullpen. The first one is Heath Hembry. Again, this is his overall card. He was 3-0 between the Red Sox and the Phillies and had 19 innings pitched and 26 hits allowed and 9 home runs allowed in 19 innings pitched. And there's his card. And now we have the last, the lasty but the goody, Brandon Workman, who was 1-4 overall with a 595 earned run average, 20 innings pitched, and 31 hits allowed. And he threw in 13 walks just for good measure. And there's Workman's card. And then, of course, that puts us back to Blake Parker. Now, for the bonus material we have, we are going to look at David Hale's Philadelphia card. And actually, his Philadelphia card is better than his overall card. He was 0-0 for Philadelphia with a 409 earned run average and 16 hits allowed in 11 innings pitched, but two homers. And bear in mind, this is his good card. This is the better one. Now, the next one we have is Brandon Workman. And Brandon Workman, just for the Phillies now, was 1-4 with a 692 earned run average and 13 innings pitched. He allowed 23 hits. And this is his... Philadelphia Phillies only card. And now the gem of them all is Heath Hembry. Heath Hembry, just for the Phillies, was 1-0 with a 1254 earned run average. In nine innings pitched, he gave up 17 hits, walked five, and allowed seven home runs. It's almost too incredible. I mean, I think I probably would have pitched better for the Phillies than Hembry did for the Phillies. Seven home runs allowed in nine innings. Really? So, that is my look at the best bullpen and the worst bullpen. And even a bonus look at some of the guys for just the Phillies. Not their, I mean, I did look at their overall cards, but also gave you a look at their Phillies card. And I will continue with this series. We will also do the best and worst lineup or one of the best and one of the best or worst lineups. Again, it depends on how you classify lineups, what you think would make the best lineup. So we're going to look at a very good lineup and a very bad lineup. And we are also going to look at a very good starting pitching staff and a terrible pitching staff. Tried to make it almost the best and the worst of the groups, of, of the teams in the major leagues, but, you know, 
we'll see if I, I meet that uh, criteria. But, and again, it depends on your definition. But this was a look at the bullpens, and it was a specific request that somebody wanted to see the Phillies bullpen, so that made me think, hmm, I don't want to do just a video where I just look at the Phillies bullpen but then realized they had the worst bullpen, maybe I can compare them to the best, or one of the best. So, if you like that video, again, like I said, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.